It's time to bring unity and love in doing our part to break down the barriers that divide us. It's time for Unshaken with Becca V. Get ready to hear positive news stories and enlightening interviews, plus music from underground recording artists around your community and the world who are making a positive impact on society. Now, here's the host of Unshaken, Becca V. Thank you so much for tuning in. As always, I am super excited for the show. I'm excited every week because it's awesome. We get to hear amazing music from Christian artists. It's awesome. Rock, worship, rap, so exciting. So today we have a very special guest, Jamie Kaczynski, drummer of 13 Minutes. Super excited to have him on. Hi, Jamie. Hi, how are you today? I'm good. How are you? I cannot complain. It's a rainy day here in Oklahoma, so it's nice and relaxing, and uh, I get to hang out with you guys for a little bit. Yay, Oklahoma. I was like, where did he say he was from? That's not too far from Kansas City. I know we, um, I think our band played a show down in Oklahoma somewhere one of those years, so. (laughs) No, about four hours away. Oh, cool. So were you at the Chains Unchained Festival this weekend? I was. Yay. So, right. A little bit out of uh, outside of Kansas City in Springfield. In Springfield. Awesome. Did you guys enjoy that show? Oh, man, it was it was excellent start to finish. We were down there Friday and Saturday and got to hang out with so many amazing artists. Yeah, it was a, it was a great weekend. Awesome. I couldn't make it this time because I'm kind of far away now. I used to live in Kansas City. <laughs> Yeah, San Diego's a little little, little ways away. (laughs) I would drive, but that would take forever. (laughs) Maybe next year I'll be able to go. 26 hours, maybe? Yeah, it's about 26 hours. (laughs) So, yeah. So, okay. So, for the listeners who might not know, um, you know, about your band or anything about you guys, would you mind telling us a little bit about your band, 13 Minutes, and uh, how you guys came together? Sure. Well, the official launch of 13 Minutes happened December of 2015. We had a vocalist departure for our previous entity, and we decided to go on a, uh, a rebranding, reimagining, uh, revisioning um, endeavor. And out of it, uh, in 13 Minutes, we began to uh, recruit a new vocalist. And that is really what uh, people hear when they put that album in. It's uh, Michael Rowley is his name. He actually lives over in Asylum Springs, Arkansas. Mm. Um, I'm I got a message one day from him and said, hey, I'd like to come out and audition. I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to drive that, you know, that every every week to come to rehearsal. But after having a conversation with him for a couple of hours, I realized this might just be the guy. Wow. And uh, lo and behold, uh, four and a half years after that conversation, he is that guy. So real proud of uh, his uh his development and all that, he, all the work he's done to become what I consider an amazing frontman. And awesome. uh, of course, my best friend Aaron Smith was uh, the fulcrum in my uh, my right. I call my right hand man for seven and a half years. He made the transition with me and really built this band up and where we were to what we became. And he unfortunately had to leave earlier this year. He had some family things that took precedent, and we wish him absolutely well and love him dearly. But we have a new guitarist. His name is Thomas Wheat, and he's doing awesome. a killer job. Cool. How long has he been with you? Thomas joined us for our audio feed tour last year, so I guess that would have been... He started rehearsing with us right after the album release, so I think May of 2019. Cool. Hey, do you have any West Coast tours? Just asking. <laughs> I wish, you know what, like you said, it's a, that's a long ways away. I did a tour out, out that way because we were going to go play Joshua Fest and oh, then sweet. in your neck of the woods, SoCal Metal Fest. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we were going to route um, uh, going up there and then dropping down into that area to play SoCal Metal Fest. And we were just looking at it and like, as much as we want to do this, <laughs> it's it's just not not feasible right now. Yeah, our band uh, did that. When we lived in Kansas City, we drove all the way to San Diego. We, like, set up four different events, and, um, like, three of us flew, and then, like, 
I think three of us were in my um, Jeep. And like, it was funny (laughs) because we piled up the equipment on top of my Jeep and it was like kind of caving in. Oh, wow. And like, we piled it so high and like tarped it and strapped it. It was ridiculous, but (laughs) we made it. You got to do what you got to (laughs) do. Yes. The things we go through, but it was, it was awesome. I mean, I, I am thankful that we got that experience, you know, and it, yeah, I mean, we even broke down in the middle of the mountains and like quick testimony, our radiator went out in the mountains and like, st- like really steep mountains. And it was in the middle of nowhere. There wasn't anybody around and sitting there. And then like, uh, finally we get the phone to work and get signals. So we call for help. They come. And they tow us and we're like, it's probably going to be like three hours before we hit a town. (laughs) We go like 15 minutes up the street and then he turns down this road. You never would have known it was there. We go down into this valley and there's this little town. And I was like, whoa, this is like in the middle of nowhere. I was like, I didn't even know we were near civilization. And he was like, yeah. (laughs) And so there was a little auto place and it was totally Jesus because this little town, I don't even know how many people are there. One auto shop, they they don't have a part store. They order stuff from the surrounding cities. And like, Mm -hmm. they just so happened to have my radiator for my Jeep in the back. <laughs> that, is, that is definitely a God thing right there. So God. So, yeah, <laughs> kind of one of those road trip memories. <laughs> well, I'm glad that you made it out. What, uh, what brought you out to San Diego? What Was it a uh, venue? Was it an event? Or? Yeah, yeah, we had four different events that we had booked. So, yeah, our band, uh, we've been a band about 10 years, and we do worship and rock. And so sometimes we lead worship for, like, revivals or different things. And then we have, like, our rock music. So we'll do festivals and, like, outreaches and just you know, different events like that. But yeah. Cool. Yeah. So, um, well, I would love to play one of your songs called Blue Flame. Is there anything you would like to share about the song? Well, you know, Blue Flame is a very interesting uh, visual. We It was intentional, but uh, the Blue Flame is a, a representation of God's strength. And uh, so the lyrics are, I spit it all through a blue flame. It's uh, taking all those things that bind us, taking all those things that hinder us and uh, giving them over to God. So mm-hmm. definitely a, a great song, and it's on the, uh, I guess we're 25 weeks now on the Christian Music Weekly Loud Chart, so yay! pretty well. Oh, congratulations. Go Jesus. Whoop, whoop. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, everyone, enjoy Blue Flame by 13 Minutes.
Wow, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I, I haven't seen you guys play out yet. I'm looking forward to that. Well, I appreciate it. I'd love, I hope, I hope, I hope we can get out that way here in the near future. Yeah, well, I mean, even if you don't, I um, I play at uh, Nehemiah Festival usually every year. Oh, yeah. Great do you festival. guys do that? Well, we haven't yet. A lot of friends of mine have gone Dude, up that yeah. way. I think Theody and Bread for yeah. War, Bread uh, for Break War. the Fall. Yeah, yeah. So, I yeah, love all of those. A lot of great ones. Yeah, yeah, they all come. We have just such a blast. Well, if you ever go, I usually play there every year. So, <laughs> oh, very cool. <laughs> we'll very we'll cool. be able to catch each other. <laughs> so, there you go. Yeah. So, all right. Well, I mean, for the listeners, um, is there a specific like website to get your music, and um, what different ways can they get in contact with you guys to, you know, book you for an event or just buy your music? Well, we are on all major streaming platforms. So, pick your poison if you like uh, iTunes which you know iTunes people are die hard we are mm-hmm. we are out there of course uh, we got uh, our primary um, side of the band camp through Rottweiler Records and okay. uh, so we like working with band camp but wherever you're at then of course if you don't have a lot of money and you just want to queue up Spotify that's okay too we do not mind <laughs> uh, so just uh, if you go out and you type in uh, Roman numeral 13 minutes into Google you will find what you are looking for. I promise you that. <laughs> awesome. Um, yeah, big. Uh, we like uh, we like to hang out with people out on Facebook and Instagram. Those are probably our favorite platforms. So, if you want to talk to us personally, we are certainly usually out there uh, conversing, chatting, posting funny memes. Just come out and say hello to us, and we we definitely love interaction with people. They call it social media for a reason. <laughs> um, so, right, <laughs> you know, not not just post your music and leave it there, media. Um, so, <laughs> we are we are active out there, and, and we we want to hear from you. Then, of course, we're out on YouTube. If you want to queue up, uh, you know, I think we got oh, five or six lyric videos out there, and we're about to drop our uh, our music video later this year for Who Told You? <gasps> Yay! Oh, that's exciting. <laughs> Who did you have do your video? Well, we uh, have a, an associate that we've been working with for a lot of years here. Um, his uh, name is J.D. He's from Freelance Studios here in town. Mm-hmm. And uh, we just like working with J.D. He's a good guy, um, has patience with us, and you know, sits mm-hmm. down and listens to our vision. And awesome. um, In fact, uh, that uh, live stream we did the other night with Exoto Festival, J.D. was the one queuing up everything and making sure it happened. So, good Sweet. Fella. Tell me more about that festival. You had mentioned it, and I had never heard of it. Well, it is in Mexico, the heart of Mexico, and uh, our friend Miguel, he's the guy that uh, handles all of it, but it's a yearly festival. I mean, a lot of heavyweights have played there. I think P.O.D. was there a couple of years ago, um, Deliverance, Tourniquets, um, of course, our friends Broken Flesh, Grave Robbers, so some more extreme style music um, mm-hmm. happening down in the heart of Mexico, but... Uh, with um, you know, with one purpose in mind, and that's to uh, glorify our great God and right. through the people of Mexico and uh, through this this wonderful avenue of music that we embark on. Right. Yeah, I'm really big about all kinds of music. Like, you can't put God in a box. Like, I'm just that's what this show is about. Like, so, you know, I mean, so many people like that hardcore rock, and you you just couldn't get them to listen to worship. You know, like they right. they just won't like it. You know. <laughs> So God's like, I know you, like, I know how many hairs are on your head. I know your thoughts. Like, I knew you before, like, you were even born. I knit you together in your womb. He's like, I know you, and I know what will touch you. And so, um, you know, I'm going to create different types of music, and I'm going to send my sons and daughters out uh, on missions and anoint uh, their voices and their instruments and their hands to uh, do this type of music to reach the hearts of of the of the people you know what i mean that i mean that's the ultimate goal is that god loves he loves us i mean he loves us so much he died for us so it's like he'll do anything to reach anyone you know what i mean and so that's why i just he is a great artist (laughs) right (laughs) right funny you mentioned that because uh we closed our set this weekend at change and chain with our rendition of uh, reckless love and holy ground oh wow and we do it in our in our fashion. And we had a, a, a young man come up to us after after our set. He, he wanted to let us know. He said that 
was the first time I've ever, ever cried during worship. What? And like, how, how humbling is that, you know? Sweet. Oh, I would love to hear that. Are you guys going to like do a cover? Because I would love to hear that and rock out to well, Reckless, Reckless Love. Club. Dude. <laughs> it's, it's on our album, so it's there. No way. Um, yep. Really? So if you, oh. you're an iTunes user or if you just want to go up to Spotify, there's my plug, shameless plug. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it is there for you. I am so going to. <laughs> There you go. Let me know what you think once you queue it up. I'd love to hear hear from you on that. Oh, I will. I am so excited. Well, I want to play another one of your songs. Um, this is a song called Who Told You? And would you mm -hmm. like to share anything about it? Of course. Uh, this, when we first performed this, it was really interesting because our label head over at Rottweiler's name is Sean Browning, heard it at Audio Feed Festival. And he came up to me after the show and he, and he said, what, what was the name of that song? Because we hadn't dropped our album yet. And so I told him, he looked at me just real matter of factly, he said, that's your first hit. I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, lo and behold, we're looking at the 2019 charts and, uh, you know, it, it made, a, it made, it hit uh, two number one spots. Uh, um, mm -hmm. And then of course for 21, 2019, we were number two on the CMW loud charts, just right behind our, our heroes, War of Ages. And, sandwiched in uh, between death therapy and war of ages and you know like well just pinch me like right now <laughs> um you know because these these are these are guys that we look up to and like right? they're, they're heroes <laughs> and so we were a bit floored and and our and and rottweiler ended up being a little prophetic with that but uh the song is really for me uh one of the more meaningful uh tracks because it engages the question who told you um mm. if you want to know what's wrong with you how bad you are what you lack turn on the tv mm -hmm. open a magazine queue up the internet whatever it is you're being told you're not tall enough you're not short enough you're not mm -hmm. fat enough you're not skinny enough you're not rich enough you're not poor enough you're not christian enough right who told you those things and so it challenges the question of our of our thoughts and the messages we receive right oh so powerful i love that I love that. The truth is in Jesus. <laughs> the truth of who we exactly. are. The truth of exactly. our identity. The truth of everything. <laughs> mm -hmm. So true. Uh, all right. Well, we are going to go ahead and play that song. And it is Who Told You by 13 Minutes.
That was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, it just gets me all pumped up. You and Bread for War. Okay, you guys are like my new faves. I like, uh, it just gets me like all pumped up. Like there's a, you know, there's a time for worship and there's a time for rock. <laughs> I agree. I agree. Uh, what is it the writer of uh, There's a time for all things under the sun. <laughs> oh, Amen. <laughs> That's awesome. All right. Well, uh, thank you so much for being on. Is there um, is there anything you would like to say to the li- listeners? I know everybody's kind of going through a lot right now. Uh, maybe an encouraging word to someone who might be listening, you know, checking out what you guys are all about and your, and your music. And, you know, would you like to just speak to somebody? Of course. Well, we do live in, we're living in a very, very precarious time. Um, in our in our history, it's it's strange with all this COVID stuff happening and the mixed messages we're receiving. And I know it can uh, feel a little unsettling at times, especially if uh, we're constantly engrossed in what news is saying in the media. And my encouragement for anybody who's wrestling with fear, with anxiety, with anything, with worry, anything that's going on, we're looking around going, is, is it? Is it the end of the world? I mean, am I going to get sick? Uh, you know, what's going on? Um, mm-hmm. God is saying, do not fear. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. And that message is repeated all throughout the scripture. Mm-hmm. Do not fear. Do not be afraid, for I am with you. For the believers that listen to your show, this is an important message. It's so timely right now. To the world at large, we cannot, we cannot be held captive by fear. We need to lean in to the messages that our great God has given us. We need to live differently than the world around us because God is saying, you are the salt and light. You are the shining city on a hill. Mm. As a city on a hill, I, I think it's easy to brush over that scripture and so, and because we take light for granted. But mm-hmm. when it was written, what that city on a hill, that shining city on a hill was, was protection. It was rest. It was a beacon of hope for the weary traveler because the traveler did not have access to light. And the traveler was left exposed in darkness. Mm-hmm. And so they knew when they saw that light, They saw that light. They knew they could rest and it was going to be okay. As the Christian, that is what we need to be showing our friends that don't believe or have yet to come to into the knowledge that we hold dear. Do not fear. Do not be afraid. God is with us. Let us shine that light to the world around us. And let's be a refuge of hope and strength and protection and rest for the weary traveler because it is weary out there right now and it is dark. So listen, if, if you're wrestling with fear, anxiety, get into the scripture, be encouraged because our great God is with us. Amen. If you just happen <laughs> to be turning on the show <laughs> and you're like, what? Whoa, hold on. What? <laughs> Grab yeah. somebody and ask them, go recap the show. If you can, yeah. what's that even mean? Ask some questions. Yeah. I'm sure there's somebody there that would love to hear from you. Amen. Thank you so much for that encouraging word. And thank you so much for being on. Hey, we just heard music from the band 13 Minutes. Thank you, Jamie. My pleasure. I'm, I'm thankful for the opportunity. All right. Have a good one. Thank you. I appreciate you guys. Bye. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am so excited. That was amazing. Come on, Jesus. Hey, tune in next week for some more amazing, amazing music. We hope you've enjoyed hearing Unshaken with Becca V. Tune in every week at this same time for more positive news stories and enlightening interviews, plus music from underground recording artists around your community and the world who are making a positive impact on society. To learn more about Unshaken and Becca V, become a guest, or to support the show, visit facebook.com slash unshaken show. That's facebook.com slash unshaken show. This has been Unshaken with Becca V on K. Praise.